Created by Megatron to counteract the Autobots' rule of the road, the Stunticons were powerful in their own right, but were also equipped with a secret ability by the Decepticon leader. They were the second Decepticon combiner team, able to merge into the towering Menasaur. Megatron had the Stunticons unveil their combined form to battle the Autobots' new team, the Aerialbots, but Optimus Prime had predicted Menasaur's existence, and had given the Aerialbots the power to combine into Superior. Menasaur quickly took the upper hand in the fight that ensued between the two giants, his sheer aggression driving the Autobot combiner back, trapping him in a landslide. Just as Menasaur was charging his opponent with intent to impale him on a factory smokestack, however, Omega Supreme appeared to intercept the Stunticon Gestalt's attack. Omega freed Superion, and the two Autobots overpowered Menasaur, forcing him to disengage and retreat. When the Autobots obtained the weather-manipulating Pearl of Behudin, Megatron had the Stunticons merged into Menasaur to reclaim the device. His heavy-handed efforts did more harm than good, however, as the Pearl was knocked free from Bumblebee's grasp and was swept up into a cyclone of its own making. Megatron abandoned the field of battle, leaving Menasaur to menace the Autobots until the Pearl's storms wiped out all life on Earth. Bumblebee, Trax and Blue Streak tried burying Menasaur in a crevasse, but the giant's prodigious strength allowed him to tear free easily, forcing the Autobots back into a corner as he pressed his attack. Moments before the Autobots met their end, the raging jackass champion driver Agi Kane hopped a cliff in his specially designed car, launching at full speed straight into Menasaur's face. Even Menasaur couldn't shrug off an impact like that, and went down like a sack of Tyronium bricks. Menasaur's size and strength were brought into play when the Decepticons targeted the Statue of Liberty for destruction, as he could wield the Antillan Lightning Bug Heat Ray as a handheld weapon. The Autobots defend the statue, and before Menasaur could open fire with the Lightning Bug, a strafing run from the aerial bots caused him to drop the weapon. His flying foes combined into Superion and the two Titans grappling over the weapon until Superion triumphed, throwing Menasaur so hard that he splintered into his component Stunticons, giving the aerial bot combiner the chance to destroy the lightning bug. While gathering up the components required for a new Decepticon laser weapon, the Stunticons wound up being captured by the Autobots. Looking to find out what Megatron was up to, a squad of Autobots used camouflage paint to disguise themselves as Stunticons to infiltrate the Decepticons' camp, but while they were away on the mission, Breakdown managed to shake the true Stunticons free from their cells. The team united into Menasaur, who felled their Autobot captors, then smashed his way out of the Autobots' volcano and took off for the Decepticons' temporary base. His arrival confused everyone as he insisted that the Stunticons already present were imposters, but the Autobots were able to maintain their deception a while longer by merging into a Menasaur form of their own through a combination of Windcharger's magnetic powers and Mirage's illusions. The two Menasaurs battled, but the Autobots' makeshift combination couldn't stand up to a slash from the true Menasaur sword, and their true identities were exposed. Menasaur stood strong in the hail of firepower the Autobots proceeded to unleash against him. But when a cavalry of other Autobots then arrived, the Combiner decided he had had enough, and fled. When the treacherous Starscream rampaged with his new Combaticon army, Megatron requested the assistance of the Stunticons, only to be rebuffed by Dragstrip. The Stunticons finally decided to take notice when the Combaticons' combined form of Bruticus defeated Devastator. At first, the rowdy bunch of cars did not care if Megatron was destroyed, but they realized Starscream would not simply stop at eliminating his former leader. The team quickly formed Menasaur, who dispatched Bruticus with one mighty punch. In 2005, following their expulsion from Cybertron, the Stunticons retreated with the rest of the Decepticons to the planet of Char. When Astrotrain returned with a pittance of Energon to go around, the Decepticons began fighting over the small handful of cubes, but Menasaur held back until a victor had emerged in the form of Devastator, whom he then attacked. Menasaur chopped the energy-deprived Constructicon Combiner into his constituent bots, 
but before he could claim his prize, the Insecticon swooped in to snatch up the cube. At that point, Cyclonus arrived to chastise the squabbling Decepticons. Menasaur and Astrotrain shared a wearied look as Cyclonus and the Sweeps mindlessly chanted their loyalty to the absent Galvatron. In 2006, the Stunticons attempted to attack a weakened Defensor, who was missing first aid, as he rescued a falling train. Unfortunately for them, no sooner had they combined into Menasaur than Rodimus Prime and Ultra Magnus blasted their combined form in the back, disabling him before he even laid a hand on Defensor.